And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Hoplitosaurus, which is mentioned in Jurassic World. Actually, you can see it in a promotional image of the Holoscape interface at the Innovation Center in Jurassic World, and it may be in the Yalmimus Valley and Cretaceous Cruise, if you remember those attractions in the movie. You have to have a very good eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a reminder, we're going through... Uh, as many of the dinosaurs as we can that were mentioned in either the books or the movies in mm -hmm. the upcoming film. <laughs> yeah, and potentially ones that might be in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because we don't really know yet. So just covering all the bases here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, Hoplitosaurus, was a polycanthinae, which is a type of ankylosaur that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now South Dakota in the U.S., in the Lakota Formation. Nice. And its name means hoplite lizard. And a partial skeleton was found in 1898 by Nelson Horatio Darden. They found ribs, caudal vertebrae, right femur, and some armor, including tall spines. It was described in 1901 by Frederick Augusta Lucas as a new species of Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus marshi. You can guess who that's named after. <laughs> yeah. Marsh. But in 1902, it was considered to be its own genus, Hoplitosaurus. Charles W. Gilmore described all the known material in 1914, and now the type species is Hoplitosaurus marshi. And again, species name in honor of Charles Marsh, who named Stegosaurus, so makes sense. The genus name refers to heavily armored soldiers called hoplites in uh, ancient Greek city-state armies. I remember those from various video games. <laughs> <laughs> that you're going to say history classes? No, no video, video games. games. Okay. <laughs> I went to school in the U.S. We don't learn history that well. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the school. But anyway, there's not much known about it, about the dinosaur. So some scientists wanted to synonymize it with Poa campus in the late 1980s to early 1990s, and William Blows and Javier Pereda Superbiola name Polacanthus marshi, but that was rejected. Kenneth Carpenter and Jim Kirkland found that the similarities between the Hoplitosaurus and Polacanthus were actually similarities found in other ankylosaurs, or there were similarities based on damage to the bones. Hmm. Polycanthus and Hoplitosaurus had similar armor, though Hoplitosaurus did not have the sacral shield of armor over the hips that Polycanthus had. Hoplitosaurus had osteoderms along its back and may have also had spikes on its shoulders and sides, and it may have used its armor's defense. It was about 4 feet or 1.2 meters tall at the hips, and it was herbivorous, and it probably ate vegetation low on the ground because it could not rear up. It's hard with all that armor. Mm-hmm. And little legs. Oh. <laughs> Don't underestimate it, though. No, ankylosaurs are the best. Well, 